Hello everyone, welcome to the channel. My name is Tanya and today we will learn formatting of a date in Django. So today in this video, we will learn the following concept. Firstly, we will discuss how to get date. Then we will learn different method for formatting of a date. After that, we will learn formatting of a date in Django view. Then we will learn formatting of a date in specific manner. Then we discuss formatting of a date in Django template and in last we will learn to format a date in Django locale. So before we can format a date we must either get the current date value or specify the date we want to format. And the simplest approach to define or retrieve the date in Django is to use the python datetime module. This datetime module contains many different classes that can be used to manipulate date value. And to generate or fetch the dates, we use the date class. And to get or set the date, we can use any of the following method which I will discuss. The first method is date time date. This function is used to set a specific date and it takes three arguments as year, month and day. The next method is date time dot date dot today. This function is used to get today's date. Now we learn different methods to format date. Since the way dates are expressed in different places may be differ, we may need to format the date at that time. So we have two methods for formatting of a date in Python which we can easily use in Django. The first one is strip time. This function generates a formatted string from a date object and it accepts one or more formatted code as input and output a string representation. The another method is strip time. This method is used to format a string formatted date. It requires two inputs, the first of which is the date string and the second of which is formatted code. And to format dates, we have some popular filters. So I discuss one by one. The first format character is percentage %A. It is used to abbreviate day name. For example, Friday is written as FRI and Sunday is written as SUN. The another format character is percentage capital A. It displays the full name. Means Friday is written as Friday and Sunday is written as Sunday. The another is percentage B. B is in capital. It shows you the full name of the month such as June written as June and July as July. The another is percentage small b. It shows us the abbreviated month name. January as Jan, February as Feb in this way. Moving toward the next is percentage small m. It shows month as zero padded decimal number. For example, for June, the month number is 6, it write 06. For January, the month number is first, it write is at 01. The next is percentage small d. The day of the month as a zero padded decimal shows us the day of the month like 18, 31, 26. We have 30 to 31 days in a month. The another is percentage small y. It shows year without century as a padded decimal number such as 99, 22, etc. Moving toward the next is percentage capital Y. It shows year with the century as a decimal number such as 1999, 2022. If we use small y, it only shows 99, 22. If we use capital Y, it shows 1999, in that way. The next one is percentage small j. It shows day of the year as a zero padded decimal number. In year we have 365 days or the 364 days in leap cases. For example, it tells us the day of the year is 135, 365, 222, 
etcetera the another is capital u a week number of the year and it takes first day as a sunday the another is capital w it's also show as a week number of the year but it takes first day as a monday the next is person x it's local appropriate date representation now we will learn to format our dates using a view file in django so we will learn with the help of example now i will show you example for this i open the visual studio now firstly we create a django project and the command to create a project is django hyphen admin space start project and the name of the project which we want to create so here i write python guides and hit enter now you have to move to the project folder which you created for this i use the cd command and then write the name of my project after that we create a app and to create it the command is python manage.py start app and the name of the app so i create a app with the name home now you can see that both the app and the project is created now click on the python guides project directory and open settings.py file then in installed app add the name of your app which you created to install it now open the urls.py file in the project directory and add the code in the second line you have to add include some of the code is already written and then you have to add the link of your new app that is created for this i write path and i specify the path of home.url s and this means that when you open your project in the browser and type home slash in the url bar it will take you to the home url s file now for this we have to open the app which we created home now you can see there is no url file available in it so for this we have to create a file in it with the name urls.py now add the code in this file we have add the path of the function view so it moves to the views.pl so it moves to the views.py file of the home app now we have to write the code in the views.py file so i open it now i explain you code so you see that i import the date time library as i discussed so you see that i import the date time library as we discussed in the starting of the video we are going to use the classes of the date time library then i create a view with the name home and in this we format the day of the month as a zero padded decimal the month as an abbreviated name and the year without century as a zero padded decimal and i also print the current date and then print the formatted date here we created a simple view that fetches the current date value and the format date value into a variable and it returns the variable to the html page which i created with the name home.html now to create an html files we need a folder with the name templates so i create a folder here name as templates after this you have to add this created folder in the settings.py file so i again open the settings.py file and in templates i add the name of the folder under directories dirs now 
we create a HTML file in template folder name as home.html. In this file, we are just using the variable to get the current date value and the formatted date value. Now we run this Django application by writing the command python manage.py run server. Now I pass the name of the URL and you can see that the current date is April 12, 2022 and it prints the date in the formatted manner which we described in the view of the application. Moving toward the next topic, in this we will learn to format dates in certain manner and the format is dd slash mm slash yy. We must use slash to separate the date, month and year and to separate the day from the month and the month from a year in a date notation we use date separator and the following are the separators which are available. The first is slash then we can also use the dash we also use the period and we can also use a comma or we can leave blank. It is as per our choice. Now let's see an example related to this. I will make some small changes in previously defined example. You can see that in formatted date I use hyphen as a separator. So you can use slash instead of this and it will change the format. Now I show you the output. You see that in previous example it print formatted date as 12 hyphen April hyphen 22. Now I refresh this page. You can see that it changed to 12 slash April slash 22. It used the slash separator instead of hyphen. Till now we have only discussed formatting the current date in the views.py file and sent it to the template page so far. So now we will see how to use Django template tags to format the current date and following are the most common used format strings format available in Django. The first format character is D. It displays the day of the month with two digits leading 0 such as 0 to 28 etc. The another is J. It shows the day of the month without leading zeros. It simply, it simply shows 2 as a 2 not as 0 2. The another is capital D. It abbreviates the day of the week in textual format such as Saturday as Sat and Sunday as Sun. The another is capital I. It displays the full name of the day of the week in textual format such as Saturdays as Saturday or Sunday as Sunday. The another is capital S. It displays day of the month with English ordinal suffix such as S T N D R D T H. Like for third it use third three with R D. For fourth it use fourth with T H. The another is W. A day of the week digits without leading zeros as 0 for Sunday and 6 for Saturday. The next one is small z day of the year is displayed by using it such as 1, 365, 200 etc. The next one is small m. It displays the month with two digits leading zeros such as 0, 01, 0, 02, 0, 06, 12 etc. The another is small n. It shows the month without leading zeros. 1 as 1, 2 as 2, not as 0, 01 or 0, 02. The another is capital M. The abbreviated month of the year in textual format is displayed. Like January as Jan, February as Feb. And if we use small b, 
it abbreviate the month of the year in textual format but in lower cases like it writes the january in small cases the next one is f it displays the full name of the month in the year in textual format such as january as january the another is small y it displays the year with two digit leading zero as 00 to 99 or 22 and capital y is used to display year with four digits with leading zeros such as 1998 2002 2003 etc now we see example related to this so i use the previous explained example but i change the coding of the views.py file i explain this to you here we create a view that will redirect to the html page and in the views.py file we define a date using a date method and date is in format year month and date as 2002-65 and redirect the date value to the home.html page i also change the coding of the home.html file i explain it to you also in this we will add the date tag you see that here i use the date tag to get the result and next to it i define the format character to format the date now i again run the server and here you see that the date is printed as 5th june 202 and in another way it is printed as wednesday means the day of the week then the date 05 then the month as june and the year as only 02 in this way we format the date using a template tags and the format characters available in django moving toward the next topic django format date locale in this topic we will learn to format date in our local system language so let's see an example for this you have to open your setting dot for this you have to open your settings.py file then we have to move to the middleware now add the local middleware between the session middleware and the common middleware so here i add it now i execute the code by default my browser use the english language it shows the date in this format now i change my browser language i change my language to german now you can see that it shows the date in german format there is one more way to change the language for this you have to open the settings.py file then search for internationalization and here in language code set the language code in which you want to display your day time zone etc by default it is set to en us english us so i change it to it now i show you what will happen now you see that it will show us the date in it format and here it stand for italian with this we learn to format date in django and if this video was helpful click on the like button and also subscribe to our channel for more videos like this one thanking you for watching and have a great day